Welcome to the Implementing My First Logical Data Integration course. This is the first training course of the Denoto training for developers, and it assumes students have a basic knowledge of data virtualization platforms. If not, we encourage you to enroll in the Introduction to Data Virtualization course before starting with this course. Hi, my name is Romil, and I'll be the instructor for this course. In this course, we will first learn about data source connections and the execution of views so that we can import different data sources into Denoto, like JDBC, NoSQL sources, JSON, and delimited files. Afterwards, we will see how to use the information stored in different sources by combining it using several operations from relational algebra, such as projections, joins, and unions. Finally, in the Working with Denoto Views section, we will learn about compound data types and learn how to handle different errors in the Denoto platform. The purpose of this course is to provide developers with basic knowledge about connecting to data sources using the platform, returning results, and creating data combinations. This training course will include several labs and exercises for connecting to these sources and combining the data returned. The following are the main goals of this training course. By the end of the training, you should be able to connect to many data sources like JDBC, delimited files, Excel, etc. from the Design Studio web tool included in the Denoto platform. Combine the data sets obtained from different sources by creating new views such as derived views. Execute queries over Denoto views in order to return data in real time. You will also learn how to check the execution trace, which will give us insight into how queries are delegated to data sources. And lastly, you will learn how to analyze the root cause of an error to ultimately solve and return the expected results. The Denoto platform provides other applications with easy access to integrated views of various heterogeneous and distributed data sources. To retrieve data from a repository of data, a database, an XML file, etc., first, you need to create a data source in Denoto. In the first section of the course, we'll go over some of the basic development concepts. You'll use the Virtual Data Port Server and the Graphical Design Studio for connecting to databases, where JDBC are the most typical data sources. Learning about JDBC is vital as most databases provide a JDBC driver. For example, using this data source, you can connect to Oracle, SQL Server, Netiza, Teradata, Snowflake, Redshift, and more. Also, this part of the course includes executing Denoto views to return data from these data sources and filtering the results obtained using functions which are included out of the box in the Denoto platform. This slide details the modules included in the first part of the course, being Quick Review of Denoto, where we'll learn about all the available tools and applications in the Denoto platform and what functionality these tools and applications provide to the user. Connecting to SQL, Analytical, and NoSQL sources, where we'll learn how the virtual data port allows you to connect to various relational databases. We'll also learn about the various options available to access database objects in relational databases and look at various native connectors available. Execution of Denoto Views, where we'll explore the various tools, menus, and key features available that access connected databases from the virtual data port. Basic Derived Views, Selection, Projection, Functions, where we'll explore how different views in the virtual data port can be integrated to form a derived view through relational algebra operations after setting up a database connection. 
This part of the training course will be focused on basic data combinations between data coming from different data sources. Before combining the datasets, you will have to connect a new type of data source, local or remote. Different types of files will be explained. Text plane files where the data is structured, for example, a CSV or comma-separated values file where each line is a single observation of data and Microsoft Excel files. These are binary files where each row of the spreadsheet will be mapped to a single observation of a view in Denodo. Once the new data sources are configured, we can combine data. And for the first combination, we'll explain the union operation. This is the most basic operation where the data will come directly from both sources. In the slide, you can see the modules included in this section. Accessing files from Denodo, where we'll explain how to access source files as local files or through the network, HTTP, FTP, etc., and how to deal with authentication. Union views, where we'll explore the union operation that combines data from data sources in the Denodo platform. In this section of the course, we will continue to improve our knowledge with one of the most important operations that combines data, the join operation. We'll start by explaining new data sources related to online data services, where you'll learn how to combine data from databases with data from new online sources. This kind of combination is very important for any company, since it allows you to combine on-premise data inside the company with data coming from cloud systems or external providers, many of which provide a REST API to access the data. The following modules are also included in this course. Connecting to REST APIs. REST API data services typically use its data formats to interchange data. You can connect, for example, to Google services like G Drive or Twitter through this data source. It is for connecting to data sources using the REST protocol. Join views. The most important operation is the join operation, where all the different types of joins and execution methods will be explained. Aggregations. We will also see when and how aggregation functions can be leveraged in the Denodo platform. In this final section of the course, we will learn about compound types that can be used in the Denodo platform and about the flatten operation. Ultimately, we will learn how to troubleshoot different kinds of issues which developers may encounter during the development phase. We will go through the following modules. Compound types and flatten operation. Here, we will see how registers and arrays can be created and flattened in the Denodo platform. Error analysis. In this module, we will discuss log configuration, how to read logs, and how to use the execution trace. We'll also discuss some common issues that may occur during the development of different views. As a final summary in this course, developers will learn the basics about how to connect to data sources and combine data, thus creating virtual views in the Denodo platform. We hope you enjoy the training!